Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Gibbous a Cthulhu Adventure, where we are using this computer to try and figure out what Olmstein's sign is all about. So we've got um, several folders and things here. Oh, one of them is actually called Olmstein's sign, so perhaps we can use that. Uh, detective work and you, lovely. Me and Vivian. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. Can we? I'm not prying into Don's oh, personal files. We can't. Okay, we can't go into Don's personal files, unfortunately. So maybe we just go on here. Ooh. Can we? What what do we do with this? So we can, oh, we can drop it into a folder. Can we? Can we? Do we? What do we do here? We can move it around, but I don't actually see where we're moving it to. Do we... So we can... Can we put it in the... No? Um, Don Jr.? I'm not, I'm not really... We can't quit out of here. I'm not prying into... I'm not prying into... I'm not prying into Don's personal files. So, oh, so we've got a world map. Oh, I see. Do we drag it like this? <gasps> ah, this looks like the dots maybe line up with somewhere. Maybe it's a map. Right, I see. So, oh, could that be right? No. All right. Oh, God, there's a lot of places on this map. Hang on. No, not quite. No. Ah, that... There was a bell in Paris. That lines up. There was a bell in Fort Maris. Don, you said my dad's in a steeple on Fishmouth. There's a bell there, too. So what's this? What do you know? It's Point Nemo. Point Nemo. Ah. That's pole of inaccessibility. It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. I see. There should be nothing there. Hmm. Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that, uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on <laughs> the, the thing. thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called the Alert, rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives, mm. never returned, apparently. Sounds, uh, encouraging. So we got three bells plus Point Nemo. That's got to be it. We're going, right? Hold your horses, buddy. Say we go there. What do we do about the bells? I can get a hold of Vlad. I can find a way to reach Dad. I got Serge eating out of my palm. So I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. That sounds very we complicated, can actually. The beast, but do we want to? Or does that help the butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, Possibly. Right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Or make it go mad. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. <laughs> no, it makes a lot of sense and it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? Uh... Preparedness has always been our forte. <laughs> what do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. It doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is gonna be one long trip. <laughs> Definitely. So, we're going to have to ring the three bells at once. How are they even going to coordinate that? That seems ridiculously complicated, but, um, you know, whatever. Is that the bells ringing? Sounds like a dock or something, maybe? Is, is the screen meant to be black like that? I, I guess it is. Yeah, okay, it was. Ladies and gents, it's kind of crazy, but we're really here. As far away from civilization Whoa. as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. Probably. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and... Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. It might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace. How about we take the mountain? 
Oh, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, because it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, what are we going to do when we find the butcher? If we find the butcher, I suppose. Well, we're going to find the butcher, aren't we? This feels like we're getting maybe close to the end of the game now. I don't know, but this kind of feels end gamey to me. We're all sort of converging on one place as a team now, so... Ooh, chapter 7, Point Nemo. Yeah, this place is interesting, isn't it? I'm looking forward to checking this out. Okay, so it looks Point as though Nemo. we're playing as Buzz. Hopefully, it all ends here, once and for all. Is it me, or does this place seem off somehow? And for some reason, that huge not-quite-full moon up there is particularly bothersome. Gibbous. What? Gibbous. Almost, but not quite fully revealed. I knew that was going to come it's what in you call handy. That kind of moon. Whatever you say, Madam Scientist. Let's just... Oh my god, what the hell? What is oh, that? What? What is this? I don't know, but you look repulsive. Ugh. What is this? What have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. <laughs> no. What? This is not me. You just got transformed, against your will, into something you despise. How did that happen? Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, kitty. B but I didn't even do anything. Oh, God. Oh, no. We seem aware, though. You think this is permanent? Hopefully not. Oh my god! What the hell? Apparently not. We're pixel oh. art! What now? What do I look like now? Um, basic? Blocky? Everything is squares. I'm squares. We're pixel art, Buzz. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> what is going on? Whoa. Yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. <laughs> what fresh hell? What even am I? Some kind of, um, uh, you're like, um... I don't even know. Uh, I give up. I feel a panic attack coming. This place is really doing a number on you. Oh, we're back. Okay. Weird. Wait, I'm back. Oh, praise the infinite universe. I am back. What was that oh, about? That was curious. I hate to be the ever cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's... What? Oh no, not again. <laughs> yep, it's cyclical. Oh god. No, no, no! The bad news is, you seem to keep transforming. The good news, it's only happening to you. Alright. What can we do, kitty? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. Oh, uh, you're right. Let's keep going. So why is it that we, um... Buzz is now transforming <laughs> into something weird. Yeah, so I think it was Daredevil was saying right back at the beginning of the um, the series about um, what Gibbous actually means and said about the moon. So now we're pixel art now. So now we actually see that Gibbous is involved in some way in the plot, which is pretty cool. So apparently that's what they call a Gibbous moon, almost completely visible but not quite. I'm sort of focused down here, actually. Yeah, I don't know what this form's meant to be. Um, remains of strange architecture. This is going to be... Bizarre moss-covered monoliths are strewn all over this beach. This is, is going to be very I strange. I can see disturbing hieroglyphs all over them. No idea what they stand for. Okay, do we have anything on our invent? We have the Necronomicon. It's the dreaded Necronomicon. <laughs> My god, we can move as this weird thing, though, which is something. Don't know what to do about them. Uh, Kitty, do you know what to do? Not worth bothering her about. Okay. Um, what's this archway? It's a normal looking archway. I mean, normal considering the circumstances. Right, okay. I can't pass through for some reason. Uh, can Kitty go through? Why can't we go through? Yeah, Kitty can go through. Oh! Huh. Made it through. Come on, kitty. I wonder if we have to... Hang on. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks both painterly and 
pasted on. Really strange stuff. So I wonder if we have to be in a certain form. Something's stopping me from passing through this arch. It is, yeah. So I think, yeah. So that's like the monstery thing. So this is something stopping me from passing through this arch. Right. Um. So we can. I guess we have to wait until we're in the right form to go through. So you said it. Right, so this is like a painting then, this form. Like, we're like a painting character. So, uh, we've got a horrible archway here. So we've got to wait until we're like the... Um, we've got to wait until we're like the monstery thing, I guess, to go through this one. Yeah, there we go. Right, now let's go through. Okay. So... Guess we have to be pixel art to go through this one. Why are we zooming so far out? So, at least we're putting this insanity to use somehow. Just keep going, please. Okay, we will do. Um, Not going further without Kid A. Oh, I see. Uh, right, so Kid I can't pass through for some reason. Oh, God. What? So, hang on. Kitty can't go through it. Uh, help me out. Kitty, help me out. How do we get past these arches? It's got to have something to do with this morphing business. Huh. By the way, I've been meaning to tell you. I think, I think I feel the Necronomicon, huh? Vibrate. Maybe it's just you, shaking in your pants? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Right, so does, is that... I wonder if that's a hint then that we've got to use the Necronomicon. Can we use it on Kitty? Ah, oh, we can! Right, okay, Whoa. so... It seems like we can change. What the heck did you do, Kerwin? Sorry. It worked. The Necronomicon actually worked on you. Did you think I wasn't going through enough already? Look at me! I know, I know, but this might be helpful. Right, so, it looks as though we transform automatically, but we've got to use the Necronomicon on Kitty. <laughs> Why is it all glitchy? I hate you, Buzz. Good to know you stay the same, regardless of definition. Yeah, that's true, actually. Personality-wise, Kitty is not changing at all. <laughs> right, so... Whoa, look at that. That is weird. Oh, no. This is insulting. <laughs> I don't know. You actually look kind of cute. Shut up, you monster. We didn't do anything. We just, you know, we can't go on without you, so... Right, so can... So can Kitty now walk through? Yes, okay, right. So, we're going to have to keep using the Necronomicon then. Right, so let's turn... Well, at least you can turn me back to normal. Yeah. I mean, that was predictable. Right, now we're going to have to turn her into the monstery thing. And then you can walk through there, right? Yes, okay. Alright, we've got the hang of this puzzle, which is good. And now you're going to have to be pixel art. Like so. Through you come. And then hopefully we should be good to progress on. I hope. Uh, good, let's go through then. Yep, here we go. God, the movement as this monster thing is horrible. <laughs> it really is. Right, where are we going now? Uh, we are in some sort of weird room with steel. It's like a like this stone thing with holes in it. It's right. called a steel. It is a steel. How do you know these things? I'm gonna have to transform Kitty out of that form because that is just so glitchy. <laughs> Alright, um, can we... I can't reach that high up. No, but Kitty might be able to, right? Hey, can you try and see if that thing activates? I don't think I have enough limbs. Ah, right. Hang on. I'm gonna turn you into the monster thing again. Do you have enough limbs now? Hey, can you try and see if that thing activates? Yeah, so we are a painting <laughs> in this form. It's quite good, actually. Now that I know what it is. Well, that's something. Whoa! Check this place out! What is this? 
That's pretty cool. What is that statue thing? I'm not sure what that statue thing is. Uh, are you going to get down, Kitty, or just going to stay up there, I, I guess? Yeah, going to stay up there until the dust clears, okay. Repulsive, but pretty darn useful. Very useful, actually. Right, uh, oh, a couple of beings. Looks like a statue of two strange-looking beings. Yeah, they always look sort of alien, don't they? Their heads are trilobed and weird. Very weird. Trilobed? I'm impressed. Uh, so there's a statue holding a, a sword. A badly damaged statue of a humanoid holding a sword. Can we... Uh, I don't know how to. So we might be able to do something with that. A broken spheroid. Half of a carved out globe on, on some kind of pedestal. Okay, so there's something on a pedestal. A branch. Where have I seen this branch before? Oh, it's killing me. I don't remember. It looks pretty firmly attached to the spheroid. So there's... A branch somewhere. I, I don't recall seeing a branch anywhere, but, but there we go. Um, should we try to head to the next area then? See what's through here. Oh. Oh, what the heck is this now? We're in. Oh my god. Um. The, the whole place is like getting screwed up. Um. Yeah, so that's a thing. All right then, guys. I think that's where we'll leave it for this episode. This is going absolutely bonkers and i love it <laughs> i really do love it so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate terminally nerdy and paul from the phantom fellows for all the support on the channel i really do appreciate it if you enjoyed the video hit on that like button make sure you subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all next time